Thank you, Lauren, with Trevor Richards. I'm not just saying this. You are a great story of how you got to where you are right now. So first of all, let me say, how's the spring going? Good, really good. I'm, you pitched yesterday. Yeah, through yesterday, got five innings, uh, just continuing the progression here. What was your story to get to? Right, so I, I went to Indie Ball in 2015 after I graduated school, and then uh, didn't get dra didn't get picked up after that year, and went back in 2016. At a Drury University? At a Drury, correct. Okay. And uh, got signed about halfway through the year. I actually flew down to Jupiter on July 4th of 2016, so I can kind of remember that. That so, day. so, Espy, who's the, yeah, who's the scout? Give, a, shout out to the scout. Yeah, uh, Espinoza, Espy, we call him. He's a Marlin scout. Oh, he's, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I see him around. He's still around. Uh, All right, so, always say hi to him. So, he's going to see other guys, and what happened? Right, so the game was in Evansville, Indiana, and he was flying into St. Louis thinking the game was there, and it, it wasn't there. It was in Indiana, so he had to get a rental car and drive. Still made it to the game. He was there to see Evansville pitcher, and I was just happened to be starting that game and had a good game. And I actually sat next to him in the stands the next day. When Indy Ball, we charted in the stands the day after he started. So I just talked to him then, and a couple days, uh, it was probably almost a week or two later. I you got know a call. what I like about this story? Because here's a scout who saw you as a pitcher it, with it, every essence of the name. Because you are a guy that you don't throw 98 miles an hour, which every single team out there, they're looking for guys that, that, that throw 100, right? You're a 90 to 93 guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get to a demo here, and your pitch has been a changeup. Correct, yeah. So I'd like for you to show what, how you throw it, what you okay. think, how does it come out of your hand, maybe we can play a little catch doing it yeah. as well. Yeah, Because sure. last year, batting average against, and I do look at fan graphs and all this stuff, 166 batting average against. It was your go-to out pitch. Definitely, True? yeah. That, my go-to, for sure. I I mean, last year I would be fastball change-up. All right, so so tell us. I didn't have a change-up, and I wish I did, because I think it would have made my pitching life much easier. Yeah, so, so uh, I, I go with the four-seam grip on my change-up. A lot of guys will start with the two. Um, for me, the four-seam gets more depth on it. Okay. I can get more more downward movement, and then I, I like to have my thumb underneath the ball. Okay. Um, it's it's a circle changeup grip, but with the my thumb underneath the ball, I feel like I have more control, and it kind of pronates my hand a little bit. With the thumb underneath here, show with, that. With my thumb underneath like that. So this being purposely underneath the ball allows right. you to pronate. Because if my hand if my thumb's here on the side, I can come through it just like this. Okay. If my thumb's underneath. My hand, whenever I go to throw the ball, okay. my hand turned. Like, I kind of get some pronation there, which gives me gives me the action so that this, I have on the pitch. This isn't unusual. This isn't no. like a, some crazy grip or Trevor Hoffman, the fingers come off the ball. Like, this is very traditional. Right. Kind of, so is there something you do, and what you, I want, I'd like for you to throw a few, that you purposely think about at the end, or does it just come out of your hand that way? It, right now I've thrown it so much, I've thrown it for... How many years? I don't. I don't know how many years. A long yeah, yeah. time that I don't really have to think about it. But there's times when I start getting like, I'll get like way inside the ball, okay. and I can see it whenever I throw it that it's. So it's, it's like a screwball. It's never in the strike zone. It's like, just takes off into the righties batter's box, and then I I know mentally that I have to stay on top of it with these two fingers longer because because okay. that that just means I'm coming like this like crazy like. All right. Really so let. The ball. let here. If you wouldn't mind. It would come out of my hand kind of like this. And whenever I get to about here, my hand starts pronating. So it'll come, it ends up coming out. My hand's on the side of it. Okay. Right here. And it spins like, almost like that. Okay. So here, uh, throw a few. So that has screwball spin to it. Now, are you trying to keep staying inside? Are you trying to, what are I, you trying to do with? My, I know with my with the grip, I'll stay inside of it. I'm not mentally thinking like get inside. It just that's just ha how I throw it there. Uh, finger pressure? No finger pressure? I keep it loose. Keep it loose. If I if I'm if I throw multiple in the dirt, I'm I'm like choking it. Okay. So I, I usually have pretty loose loose in my hand. If if I if I was back here and you came, you could probably grab it out of my hand. Okay. It's not not real kind of fingertips. I don't have it deep in my hand. I'm not trying to like be like, okay, this has to be in this spot like I am with my fastball. So there you go. Greg, 
Trevor Richards, change up, awesome. I love it. You don't have to have every single guy on your staff throwing 98 miles an hour. How great is that? 